you know bessel differential equation and bessel function are actually very important uh, concept of mathematical physics and uh, it finds uh, its use in various places in physics particularly in the problems involving right cylindrical coordinates r phi z okay in this lecture uh, our aim is to discuss this bessel differential equation and its solution which is called bessel function only in few minutes so let us see this uh, journey of only few minutes uh, and for this we start with the famous helmholtz equation in cartesian coordinate you know uh, helmholtz equation in, uh, differential equation in cartesian coordinate is uh, written as del square psi of x y z plus k square psi of x y z equal to 0 this is known as this uh, helmholtz differential equation okay now first of all we will transform this helmholtz differential equation uh, which is in cartesian coordinate into cylindrical coordinate so you have to transform the coordinates x y z into r phi z which are cylindrical coordinates and when you will transform uh, x y z into r phi z then this helmholtz differential equation gets gets transformed into cylindrical coordinates and uh, the equation becomes like this this equation is r del 2 psi by del r square plus del psi by del r plus 1 over r del 2 psi by del phi square plus r del 2 psi by del z square plus k square r psi equal to 0 this is helmholtz e differential equation in cylindrical coordinate now you can see here that the function psi is a function of three independent variables uh, and those variables are r phi and z okay r phi and z and this is a second order partial differential equation so definitely the method of variable separation must be used to solve this equation so now we will apply the variable separation method to solve this equation and for this we write psi of r theta r phi z equal to r of r times phi of phi times z of z and when uh, you will find all the derivatives present in this equation that is del su by del 2 psi by del r square del psi by del r del 2 psi by del phi square del 2 psi by del z square and substitute in this equation that equation will actually get splitted into three uh, different ordinary partial differential equation after making the variable separation the first uh, equation we obtain is called z equation and this equation will be d2 z square plus lambda z lambda square z equal to 0 where lambda you know is <coughs> a separation constant you can see that this equation is just equation of an oscillatory motion so the solution of this equation z of z will be an oscillatory function okay or periodically varying function so z of the solution of this equation is given like this this is a cos lambda z plus b sine lambda z here a and b are arbitrary constants uh, which are evaluated by using the proper boundary condition in a particular physical problem now the another equation after variable separation we get is d2 phi by d phi square plus n square phi equal to 0 here n is, n is also uh, separation constant okay this is separation constant and this is uh, this equation you can see is also just equation of simple harmonic motion and so its uh, solution capital phi will be just an oscillatory function and so you can write that this phi of phi equal to c cos n phi plus d sin n phi okay this is solution of the azimuthal equation now the radial part of uh, this equation will be what uh, this is, it will, will be in terms of this r of r 
actually this radial equation gets transformed into a very famous uh, differential equation of second order with uh, variable uh, coefficient which is known as Bessel's equation after making two extra substitutions we also consider that the, uh, that uh, this uh, variable r is related to a new variable x which is x equal to alpha r and we also substitute that k square minus lambda square is just equivalent to alpha square one thing i would uh, like to say you that uh, here this x is an uh, is a variable related to r don't think that this x is x coordinate of cartesian coordinate system so never confuse this x with uh, x coordinate of the cartesian coordinate system you may write another symbol here so don't confuse that this x is x coordinate of uh, the cartesian coordinate system okay so when uh, we will make the variable separation and use these two transformations then the equation for uh, the independent variable uh, uh, in uh, equation for the function capital r will become x square d2 r by dx square plus x dr by dx plus x square minus n square r equal to 0 this is the famous uh, Bessel's differential equation actually now this equation is solved by the use of power series method or numerical method and actually the solution of this very equation is known as Bessel's function so the solution of this equation r of x which is written as j n of x but this n may be taken as positive or negative so i have written here the, both symbols uh, in same uh, same equation so this solution is written as j plus minus n of x which is actually called bessel's function of the first kind now uh, this uh, j plus minus n of x is defined like this this is summation j from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power j times x over 2 to the power j 2j plus minus n and divided by j factorial times gamma of plus minus n plus j plus 1 here when you will take the positive sign plus sign then you have to take plus sign in rhs and when n is taken negative then you have to take minus sign okay so this is a vessel function of the first kind okay thank you very much